Hello everyone, and welcome to round 5 of the London Chess Classic. Uh, before I get started with the game, I, I just want to make sure if uh, the uh, photos of the players are in the correct place, as in the in my previous video I did about Caruana, uh, I switched his place with Sergei Karakin, so that was a bit confusing, uh, I, I can imagine. So this time Caruana definitely has the white pieces, and uh, the tournament uh, did get a bit feistier. I was actually considering showing you a game between um, MVL and Levan Aronian, uh, but uh, this game now, uh, I was just ready to record the video, uh, ended in a decisive result, so I decided to show this one. Carlson is still battling it out with Wesley So at the moment uh, I'm making this video. Uh, so, who knows? I'll, I'll see. Maybe I'll show you uh, both of these games as well. Uh, so, Corona definitely has the white pieces and he plays e4. Uh, e5 by Anand, knight to f3, knight to c6 and bishop to b5, the Rui Lopez. Uh, we have knight to f6, the Berlin defense, d3, bishop to c5, uh, knight to c3, uh, Anand castles, now b capture, bishop captures on c6, d captures on c6, and h3, not allowing any bishop g4 ideas, uh, knight to d7, uh, with ideas of uh, getting the knight maybe to g6, maybe to c5 uh, in the future, depends on what uh, white plays. Uh, bishop to e3. Uh, bishop to d6, uh, Anand isn't interested uh, in exchanging bishops, knight to e2, we have rook to e8, and g4 now. Uh, Karana starts expanding on the king side, and it's uh, pretty obvious he's not going to castle king side, so uh, knight to c5. Uh, we have knight to g3, now with a very nice uh, control of f5 and h5, probably uh, with ideas of bringing the knight to f5. Uh, knight back to e6, and we have knight to f5, and now this is a beautiful square for the knight, it can capture the bishop on d6, uh, pressures g7, uh, knight to h6 uh, could be an idea in some variations. Uh, c5 by Anand, and now h4. Uh, a5, Anand now starts pushing his pawns on the queen side, as Corona will probably castle queen side as well. Uh, we have h5, and now comes a very nice defensive and attacking idea, rook to a6. And this is a, an attacking move, but also it's a defensive move. Uh, this rook can come to b6 and uh, pressure b2. It can come to c6 and, uh, you know, uh, help push the c-pawn. Uh, but uh, either way, it's also guarding the entire 6th rank. So this is a very nice move. Uh, queen to d2. Caruana prepares the castle queen side. And we have a knight to d4. Uh, threatening knight captures on f3 to fork the king and queen. So rook to h3. Uh, bishop to f8, uh, we have castles, and now bishop to e6, uh, with ideas of capturing the a2 pawn. Uh, king to b1 defending, and we have f6 now. Uh, c3 kicking the knight, knight captures on f3, rook captures on f3, and c4. And this c4 is a very sneaky idea by Anand. Uh, this isn't uh, with the idea of exchanging queens, this is uh, with the idea of winning the game immediately. Uh, if Corona played D captures on C4, then Bishop captures on F5 wins the game immediately. Uh, what do you play here? If you capture the Bishop, uh, then this Rook comes to D6 and you're getting destroyed here. Uh, you can't move the Queen, you lose the Rook, you have to play something like Bishop to D4. Uh, you lose, you, you're losing a piece and you're losing the game. Uh, but after bishop captures on f5, you can also decide to capture the queen. But that then comes this in-between move, bishop captures e4, with check and also uh, with an attack on the f3 rook. So after king a1, simply rook captures queen, rook captures, and now bishop captures on f3. Again, you're down a piece and again you're losing the game. So a very nice move c4 by Anand. Uh, queen to c2 by Caruana, now c captures on d3, rook captures on d3 with a tempo on the queen. Uh, queen to c8 and g5. Now Anand wants, uh, Caruana wants to break open on the king's side. Uh, f captures on g5, bishop captures on g5, and bishop to f7. Uh, attacking uh, dh5 pawn, and if the pawn is pushed, also bishop to g6 could be a, a defensive idea. Uh, Caruana does push h6, and we have g captures on h6. And this does open up the king, but it's much better than something like g6, for example. Uh, the knight simply goes back to e3, and from there it can go to d5, f, f6, and uh, whatnot. So, not really accomplishing any, anything for black here. Uh, Anand has the right idea here. g captures on h6, 
uh, grabbing a pawn, kicking the bishop away, and also the rook on a6 is protecting uh, the h6 pawn. So this rook is coming really handy in pretty much every variation uh, in this game. Uh, bishop back to c1, uh, queen to e6. So this is move 26 and uh, Anand is already threatening uh, queen captures a2 with checkmate. Uh, b3 defending, we have a4, now busting open the queen side. Uh, c4, b captures, uh, sorry, a captures on b3, a captures on b3 and queen to c6. And uh, this comes with a threat of queen captures on e4. Uh, first rook to g3 check by Caruana, a king to h8 and now rook back to d1. Now uh, opening up the queen's protection uh, of the pawn and also with ideas of rook maybe to g1, maybe to h1. Uh, all depends. Uh, b5 now, uh, Anand is going all out. Uh, and there really isn't uh, a lot of moves Caruana can do here. Uh, he decides to go for c5. Uh, in an interview uh, after game he said that uh, this was his only option. Uh, we have uh, b4 here and this b4 was a, a bit too, probably a bit too optimistic for Anand. Uh, he could have gone for something like queen captures on c5, but after queen captures and bishop captures, uh, Anand is up two pawns. But Caruana can grab this pawn, uh, but even better is rook to d7, and uh, white has much more activity, and this is uh, compensation enough uh, for the two pawns. So Anand doesn't go for this, although this might have been uh, better than what Anand played. After c5 he played b4, and now Caruana plays bishop to b2. Uh, lining up this bishop with this lone king on h8 and already you can uh, feel it's a bit dangerous uh, here Anand played uh, bishop to g6 and th th when when he played this Caruana said that now he really felt that he was better uh, what Caruana was expecting actually was rook to a5 uh, with ideas of rook captures uh, on c5 uh, but he actually uh, had a move prepared for this on rook a5 he would play rook to d8 it's a little tactical trick and now rook captures on c5 doesn't work uh, because bishop captures on e5 with check and you don't really have a move. You have to capture, rook captures and uh, you lose the queen. Uh, on the other hand if you capture with the other rook then rook captures on f8 with check. Uh, you have to block this uh, bishop to g8 and now uh, rook captures and this is checkmate. Uh, so after rook to d8 you can't uh, really capture rook captures on c5, you'd have to play something like queen captures on c5, uh, but then rook captures on e8, again, uh, threatening to capture, uh, so queen captures with check, uh, king captures queen, and now bishop captures on d8 and probably f4, uh, going after this pinned pawn, and uh, it's actually white that's better now. But, uh, you know, it, this is what uh, Caruana was expecting, and he thought he, he'd be okay here, uh, but after bishop to b2, uh, Anand played bishop to g6. And now we have rook to d5. Uh, protecting the c5 pawn, also adding more pressure to the e5 pawn. And uh, queen to b5 uh, was played by Anand. And this comes with a, with a little trick. Uh, if, you, if, uh, if Caruana played uh, bishop captures on e5 with check, uh, then rook captures on e5 and you can capture the rook. If you capture the rook, uh, you get queen to f1 check, uh, now if king to b2, queen to a1 is checkmate, and if you block with the queen, that's, that's your pretty much, uh, only other option, uh, then rook to a1 check, king captures and queen captures with check. You lose the queen and the game as well. So after queen to b5, uh, first rook to g1, not allowing uh, Anand any tricks with queen to f1, uh, c6 was played here, and uh, this c6 wasn't, uh, it, it was just uh, l losing the game. I mean, there are no better moves for Anand, but uh, may maybe rook, rook 8 to e6 would have, uh, would have given him more chances. Now the e5 pawn is protected, and uh, may maybe black can hope for something here. Uh, but again, after f4, you're still going for this pinned pawn. It's going to be very hard to defend this for Anand. But okay, uh, after rook to g1, Anand decided to go for c6. And uh, Caruana played bishop. Uh, so rook captures on e5. Uh, rook captures on e5 and bishop captures on e5. This comes with check. Uh, you can't block the check since the knight is also guarding g7. So king to g8, and now comes uh, bishop to d4. 
And the white is still better here, although in this position Caruana missed uh, a, a very nice idea. He missed bishop to b2. He missed bishop to b2. Uh, this comes with the idea of uh, queen d1 and queen to d4 now destroying black uh, over this diagonal. But he missed that after queen to c2 he can't capture queen captures on c5. Uh, if you capture with the queen on c5 now, then simply knight to h6 check. Uh, the king has nowhere to go, you have to capture with the bishop, and since the bishop was protecting the queen, uh, queen captures on c5, you lose the queen, and the game. But okay, after king g8, bishop to d4, Caruana thought he needed to protect the c5 pawn, but he's still better. Uh, king to f7 by Anand, and now comes knight to h4, and it's actually in this position uh, that uh, Vishwanath and Anand resigned the game. And Karana said that he was pretty surprised by this, as, you know, there's still moves to be played. Maybe maybe uh, he could do something. Uh, but Anand uh, agreed, you know, with himself that uh, there is no point in playing this position. Uh, White is threatening to capture the bishop on g6. Um, uh, if black would recapture, then e5 is coming and uh, this g6 square will, will be destroyed. Uh, so after something like bishop to h5, if you want to preserve the bishop, uh, e5 now, opening up uh, the queen's attack to the h7 pawn, and there's really nothing you can do about this. Uh, queen to e2, maybe black can activate the queen, but after queen captures on h7, uh, king, to a, uh, king to e8 and queen to f5, uh, it's pretty much over. Uh, queen is coming to e6, so black, is, black is getting destroyed. Uh, queen to a2 does nothing here. After queen to c, uh, king to c1, there there are no more moves for black. And if if instead after queen to f5, uh, you play something like rook to a8, then rook to c1, uh, king to c1 first a safe move, uh, then bishop to bishop to f7, and after knight to g6, uh, bishop captures on c5 and knight to f4. Uh, black now really doesn't have any moves to play. Uh, if you move the queen, queen f3, then e6 uh, is crushing and completely winning. But Anand didn't go for any of this, although, as you can see, there are, there are a lot more moves that can be played here. Uh, Anand obviously saw all of them, and uh, he decided uh, to resign the game uh, after this knight to h4 was played. So yeah, uh, that was uh, Fabiano Caruana versus Vishwanathan Anand in round 5 of the London Chess Classic. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you if you'd like to see the game between MVL and Levon Aronian, you know, just uh, write something in the comment regarding that. And uh, I, I I still have to check how Carlson is doing against Wesley. So it's a pretty you know uh, hardcore end game, a pretty hardcore drawn end game with opposite colored bishops. So yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, Max Maric, uh, Brian Ruggles, and uh, Jan Zong for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, both of those will be about uh, Google's Alpha Zero. I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.